What we're going to look at in this video is a very clever trick that Cura has up its sleeve to generate 3D prints from 2D images. The way you do that is the way you'd open any normal 3D print, go to the open file menu, but you'll notice here I've got a 2D image rather than a 3D file to bring in. Now this is a grayscale image. This technique does work from a color image as well, but it's easier to understand the way it's working with a grayscale image. You'll see here I've got a mixture of white where it says Ultimaker, black where I've got the robot graphic and the text. And this background is 50% grey. That's the midpoint between being fully white and being fully black. So they're the key pieces of information of this grayscale image. This is a JPEG. It also works with a PNG file or a bitmap file. But if we now hit the open button in the open file menu, Instead of it converting straight away to a 3D model, it actually produces this uh, dialog box which is asking me for some key information to input in order to be able to create that 3D print. The first thing it wants to know is how high do I want this to be printed out at. So I'm going to specify 2mm. I don't want any background to it so I'm going to leave base uh, alone. For the width I'm going to specify this as 85mm. This is going to be a kind of calling card or a business card and typically they're around 85 millimeters wide you'll notice when I change that dimension the depth changes automatically these two dimensions are linked as soon as I change one it automatically rescales the other one I'm going to click on the option where it says darker is higher and I'm going to leave smoothing alone and when I now click OK it just takes a couple of seconds to actually generate that 3d print from that 2d image so you can see that on the screen, you can see it's actually printing the text um, proud of this background surface and by the looks of it where it says Ultimaker it's not actually printing anything at all. Now with this technique, just like any other 3D print, I'd strongly recommend checking the layers view before you go and print this. And the reason for that is you really want to check that all of these areas, especially the small areas, are printing out the way you'd expect um, them to print. If I now look through this um, business card layer view you can see that it starts to print the background it's not printing anything where it says Ultimaker because that was white and it prints up to halfway so 50% grey represents half of two millimeters so at one millimeter now it's starting to print out the text and the graphic of the robot and if I then carry on through to the end of the print then you can see that uh, that's now my 3D printed business card. So this is a pretty neat technique. Um, one of the things I'd recommend is if you are going to use text or graphics please keep an eye out on the kind of detail particularly with text always try and pick a bold font if you're going to try and print out text um, anything too fancy uh, can either need a very fine nozzle to print or it won't print at all. So please be careful of that. You'll see that in the layer view whether your text is going to print out properly or whether the detail areas of your print are going to print out properly. Which is why the layers view is such an essential part of this particular technique. Um, but it can be really really useful to use this technique uh, to generate 3D prints just from 2D graphics. So if you've got logos, it'll save you having to model those logos in 3D. Just take the 2D logo and 3D print it out. It's a pretty neat trick. It's actually pretty useful and it works really, really well.